Okay, well, the question I've been asked to talk about is, uh, could robots, computers be creative? And actually, that's not one question, I think it's two questions. The first question is, could computers appear to be creative? Could they produce a performance which, if a human being did it, we would call creative? And the second question is, even if they could do that, uh, would they be really creative? And the answer to the first question is very easy, because it's not only is it yes, it's yes, they've already done it. So the answer to the first question is yes. The answer to the second question you might feel is very obviously no. Of course, they couldn't be really creative. Um, and I share that intuition. But it actually, if you look at it carefully, it isn't so obvious um, that the answer is no to that question. So I'm going to be talking about those two questions. Um, and before I talk about either of them, I've got to say what I think creativity is. And I hope you'll accept this as a, a useful definition of creativity, namely the ability to come up with ideas that are new, surprising and valuable. And when I say ideas, I don't just mean, you know, concepts, theories, poems, I mean statues, musical compositions, architecture. So I'm using ideas there in a very, very broad sense. So it includes, you know, physical things like paintings and buildings as well as mental things like ideas and theories and so forth. Okay. 